It's that time again, Trash Panda Treasures. My name is Carrie, and I am your friendly neighborhood teen librarian from the Rapid City Public Library. And if you're watching this video, that means you picked climbers for the secondary option in your box this month. We're gonna start with our paper in a diamond shape and bring that bottom point up to the top point and get a nice sharp crease. Open it up, you're gonna see that center line. We're gonna do the same thing again, bottom point up to top point, so there are lines going from each corner. Now I'm gonna take the right hand corner and bring it up to the top corner right along that center line. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the left point, up to the top along that center line. Then I'm gonna take what I just folded up and I'm gonna bring it down, but I'm not gonna unfold it all the way down. I'm a little more than halfway down is where my fold is gonna go. And it'll be just a little bit of a diagonal, barely a diagonal. So a little less than halfway, we're gonna bend it back down. Now you can see I've got two points left at the top. I'm gonna take the first one, I'm gonna bend it down, but not all the way down. I'm gonna leave some space. I'm going to keep those center lines matched up. And then the last one, I'm going to do the same thing, but not all the way down. Now, I'm going to take the whole thing and turn it over. And you kind of have these little tiny diagonals at the top. And what I want to do is bring that diagonal to the center line. So I'm going to fold it in and bring it to the center line. And then on the left-hand side, I'm gonna bring it in to meet it at that center line. Okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring out that string. Where is my string? There we go. Um, you're gonna fold your string in half. The part that's looped is gonna go near the top of your creation. Um, one leg of string will go under one side and one leg of string will go under the other side. And we are gonna glue the edges, not the whole thing, but just the edge to that center line. That way your string is gonna be able to move freely, but it won't be able to come undone from your climber. So go ahead and hold that in place. We're gonna let it dry. Doot, doot. <laughs> shouldn't take too long. Um, then we're gonna turn it over again. I'm gonna add eyes on mine because I like adding eyes to things. So I'm gonna make an oval with an eyeball and an oval with an eyeball. And what are eyes without eyebrows? Perfect. Okay, you're gonna take that string loop. You can pin it to the wall, put it over a piece of furniture or a cabinet maybe. Bring your climber all the way down to the bottom, and then you're gonna pull on each of those strings. Left, right, left, right. Now these, the secret to these is that you just need a square sheet of paper. So I'm gonna show you how to make a square out of a normal sheet of paper, because it's a good skill to have. When you take a bottom corner and fold it so that it comes up flat to the top side, then you draw um, a line cut on that line and now you have a square sheet of paper. <laughs> um, you can make them out of newspaper, regular paper, notebook paper, really anything. And then these climbers you can make in all shapes and sizes out of any kind of paper which I think is super cool. As you can see I may have got a little carried away. 